Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be diving into the Bitcoin chart to give you some assistance today in terms of our really important support and resistance levels. We're going to be going over that, I'll go over my current trading position and how I am currently trading Bitcoin right now. And towards the end of the video, the video, <laughs> towards the end of the video, I'm going to be giving you a really important announcement. So make sure you stay to the end where I will be giving you that. And without further said ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go into the charts here. So uh, if you are following over on Instagram, you'll know right now the current position that I am in. Uh, shout out to the community who are doing well at the moment. And this is the current trading position that oh, I am in. Oh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Hope you're doing well, everybody. This morning, what I'm going to do for you all is I'm going to make a technical analysis. I'll be talking you through my current trade, why I am in a short position right now and uh, how I'm looking to take this. So I hope that you do enjoy. I'll catch you all over on YouTube. I hope you have a brilliant day. Cheers. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm in a currently in a short position that's in about three Bitcoin profit, $100,000. What I'm looking to do with this trade at the moment is really monitor the market structure. I want to talk you through, obviously, the original short was taken from trading the range. And I want to explain something re that's really, really important for me um, to get across in this video. Obviously, we have been going from the low of the range to the high, to the low, back up to the high to the low and then what happened here to make us lose this range and actually head down lower we did not get a you know a sufficient bounce underway here and really simply for me i'm going to explain why this is as we can see from this local trend we were going low into a lower high into a lower low into a lower high into a lower low and this was actually just a lower high printed on the chart from our last high we obviously had this support let me just clear this up so you can fully understand you have this support that has gone into support once again and then it's resistance and then it's resistance once more so you had a mixture of something as simple as an sr flip with also combining that with the still current bearish market structure which really was unable to push us through any higher we obviously had the point of control resistance you were unable to breach the point of control you came down again what I want to tell you though, ladies and gentlemen, is though I am in a short position, I want to actually start here with talking you through a losing trade that I took on the chart. You know, I'm always really happy to talk you through my losing trades because losing is, you know, it's, just, it's you have to expect you're not only ever going to take wins. Okay, so it's unrealistic expectation to expect 100% win rate. Losses are expected as well. And I did take a loss this morning uh, from actually longing, uh, you know, I basically was thinking to myself, okay, my invalidation is going to be the lows here. I'm going to try and get in on the retest of the bottom of the range and we did get a pretty well we got we got a little bit of a bounce as you can see here really i managed to get into my long at 34,000. so from 34,000, we bounced up to 35,000. but as we can see here then on the lower term time frames what happened was the bounce was was not well it basically just came up to the last highs and then it broke down you broke the low of the range you back tested the range and you come down again so for me that was really simple okay i've tried to take a long at the low of the range it's invalidated because we have lost that range and we have back tested it so really simply what i am not going to do is hold on to the long forever i'm not just going to be holding thinking oh it's going to bounce it's going to bounce it's going to bounce it's going to bounce and see a disastrous loss no really simply i've recognized why i took the long here i knew why i was taking the long i knew where i was wrong on the trade which was actually below the wick but i managed to get out of it early upon just seeing a really simple case of losing the low of the range back testing it knew i wanted to get out of it so what's really important here that i want to emphasize here is firstly yes <laughs> finally took a loss it's been a few days coming but took a loss on the bitcoin chart i've not held on to that thinking oh, it's going to turn around it's going to turn around no nope. i've kept my loss really small my loss has been very small <laughs> in comparison to the win i've let my winner run during this time kept the loss small and basically that re resumes to where we are now but i just wanted to emphasize you know a lot of people don't want to talk about the losses but i actually think it's absolutely acceptable to take a loss it's impossible to have a hundred percent win rate so I wanted to share that with you and the theory of really simply why I took that long and where I knew I was wrong. And we come down lower. So I'm pretty happy I got out of this. So really, what am I looking for now? I'm actually looking for, you know, to be honest, I'm going to be monitoring this in two ways, either, either a market structure change. So if we change the market structure again, and you know, it's pretty simple, to be honest. I'm not like trying to make this really complicated. I'm really simply going to say if we can change the market structure to bullish, then 
bullish, then I will close my short. Alternatively, well, <laughs> my next target was basically just below this $32,000. So we're approaching that very swiftly. But that was obviously going to be for me my next target. I had a few when I originally entered this short position. It was the low of the range, which hasn't held. It was actually basically where we are now, if I'm totally honest with you, to 30, 30, just below $32,000. So I'm very, very, very interested in whether we get the bounce now or not, to be honest with you. See what the volume's like really quickly. Uh, lots of people... Oh, actually, you've seen a lot of new shorts open here, but it's not massive volume, about 5 million coming in under one minute candles. Would like to hit that 32k a little bit lower, if I'm honest with you. So we'll have to monitor this as it's going along. Um, yeah, I'd like to see a little bit lower still. But uh, yeah, if we do not get the bounce underway at 32k, then I, yeah, I'm still going to be looking down for around that 29 29k region next obviously if we lose that i'm still going to be looking down towards that 26 thousand but for me this is the next bounce region you know I'm, I'm, i am willing to take another long off of this region it all depends how we get this bounce underway which is literally going to try and occur maybe within the next 10 minutes to be fair um so you're seeing here what we're seeing here is we are we basically saw us people people opening shorts at the very you know this is a little bit crazy but you saw you saw some people opening shorts here okay and then you saw a lot of people closing their position for another minus 8 million now you've seen a buyback of about 3.9 million but for me this is not enough yet this is not really enough in terms of the volume that i'd want to see to really signify that we're going to get a proper bounce we've obviously just taken this low but i would i'd still like to see this little bit lower and to me it looks like we're going to get it you know i'd like to see that little bit lower and that's where i'd be interested in the long so for me at the moment this is a little bit premature too long i'd like to see a little bit more downwards and that's just going off of what I have here. I don't think this is a bounce that's actually going to be sustained. Um, I think it's going to be another little bounce to draw in some longs before going down at, at least another bit more. And maybe it will end like this, where we do breach that 32k and then we get a nice bounce underway. Or alternatively, we get another weak bounce and it continues down. That's that's what I'm going to be monitoring. But I'm pretty sure that this at the moment is not going to bounce here and we will see in a little bit lower anyway <laughs> um yeah that's kind of what i'm looking at at the moment so yeah I'm, I'm only in a short position as it stands not in a long um the reasoning for the short was really simply i was originally trading the range uh on another account obviously i sculpted a long here that got stopped out that's absolutely fine we're now breaching our way down towards that 32k target which is obviously for the gartley pattern um i still think we're going to breach that to be fair don't think we're going to bounce here looking for a little bit lower when we reach that gartley target which is still a little bit lower here on the chart that's where i'll be interested in a long if we get if we get basically if this happens what we're seeing now and we get this weak volume buyback then i'm i'm not going to long <laughs> it's as simple as that but if we do get a dip if we do actually see a stark increase in the volume then i'll, I'll be open to longing that's absolutely fine for me uh it's at a target region for myself uh would probably approach this in the way of still holding on to the swing position but simultaneously trying to sculpt that long that's really how i like to trade it's it's a really effective way of trading so that's how I would approach this. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have bre breached our level. I was thinking we were going to because the volume was just too weak. But yeah, we have, we've actually already come down once again for a new low. So that's how important volume reading is. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how, but that's my game plan at the moment. That literally is my game plan as it stands. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm not going to lie. I'm really, really, really enjoying the trades at the moment. They're, they're pretty easy. Uh, what I will say is like, one thing that you have to bear in mind is that everybody and their mother, everybody and their mother is watching a triangle pattern right now. And so when everybody in the world is watching the same pattern, what's the likelihood that it's going to work? The answer is very, very, very low. So that's one thing that I bear in mind. If, you, if everybody on YouTube is talking about the exact same pattern, the likelihood of that pattern working is extremely, extremely low. So e.g., try and make your own analysis that is a little bit different than the herd. <clears throat> you know, if you follow the herd, if, you, if you're a sheep to the herd, uh, which everybody and their mother is talking about, that pattern has got a very low probability of working, in my opinion. So just bear that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for me, I'm I'm just going to trade this level to level. I'm not going to give any massive predictions. Um, but as it stands at the moment, yeah, I'm just in a short position looking for lower, and we are still breaching lower. This is really nice. Um, you know, reading the volume, I you know, just saw it then. It was very important. I recognized that that was a fake bounce. I'm sure people got trapped in there. I mean, well, they absolutely did because you saw people buying uh, mil millions of dollars. Um, you know, literally this guy spent a million and he's straight away underwater as price continues to fall here. So no surprise in my in my opinion. Uh, we're coming down to the target. I want to actually go back over to this. If you're interested in my live updates in the time, then I will give this over in the Champions group. This is obviously Chart Champions over at Discord, um, where obviously we've got trades and 
questions and answers running 24 7 pretty much uh but basically what i'm gonna what i've got to say for the announcement here the announcement that I wanted to give you uh, is that if you want a live stream from me, uh, if this video reaches, let's say, let's say, I think we're going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge you for 1,000, let's say 1,100 likes. If this video gets 1,100 likes, I will do a live stream for you where we will be looking at things like this in the moment of the volume coming in. Is it going to bounce? Is it not going to bounce? Obviously, I was saying in this, this comment one, it's not going to bounce. We're still coming down as we're speaking. And um, yeah. So that's what I'll say, ladies and gentlemen. If you've if you've enjoyed my analysis, if you've you enjoyed me keeping it real inside of the YouTube space where there's a lot of fake people, yeah, I'm keeping it real, giving you real analysis, trading my ideas, putting millions of dollars on every trade that I take, and uh, basically helping you in the best way possible. And remember, there's no financial advice during the whole of this video, and in none of my videos there is financial advice. I'm just giving you my opinions. Um, but obviously, there's no, no advice given here. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm right. <laughs> Let's just say I'm right a lot of the time. So if you appreciate that, if you want to see a live stream from me, you can remember to subscribe down below. Tick the bell so you do not miss that live stream because it's going to be very valuable information. And if you want to see that, you can smash up those likes, share the video with your friends, and we can continue to make some money. Uh, so yeah, there you go, everybody. Thank you ever so much. Hope you have thoroughly enjoyed this video as we continue on the downwards tra tra trajectory right now. Uh, I'm going to go back to this, go over to the Champions Discord, and hope you all have a brilliant day. Thank you ever so much, everybody, and goodbye. <laughs>